All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the web browser Florp, which is based off of Firefox and is developed in Japan. And it is one of many interesting alternatives to Google Chrome that you can download that does not use the Chromium web browser as its framework. So to download it, all you got to do is Google it, Florp, or you could just go to florp.app, which is their website and go to the download page, although you can check out all of their wonderful uh, features if you're curious what other stuff they provide you with. And then you just go click download and go to their download page. Which is having some trouble right now, so you know, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, uh, their website's been a little hiccupy. So they have different versions. It is available for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, and there is a regular version and a mobile version. The mobile version, I'm guessing, allows you to run it off of a thumb drive or something, but we just want to click this download button for the most recent Windows 64-bit edition, which will open up a window to download stuff. So we'll just save this in our downloads folder. And then it shouldn't take too long. It's literally, the installer is only 85 megabytes, which is absolutely teeny tiny. Although for some reason it's taking a bajillion years just to download the whole 85 megabytes, but that's no big deal. I'm in no rush. We will be off to the races and checking out cool features and uh, stuff on the internet with Florp momentarily. So now that it's done, I can open the folder that it's in and I can double click to install it. You might have to right click and install yourself. And you may also be prompted for admin permission, which I just was, in order to install Florp. Once it's all happy and ready to go, it'll pop open the install wizard and we can just follow the instructions to do a standard installation in my program files folder. And it's installing about as fast as I would expect a web browser to uh, install. And then we'll hit finish to finish the installation process. So now we'll walk through the initial setup process. It'll also tell us what's the latest updates and changes that have been made to Florp in the patch notes, which are available in both English and in Japanese. So if you're interested, you can read all that good stuff. But yeah, let's re we're ready to dive in. Let's go check out Florp. So the first thing it wants to do is it wants to import all of my settings from my previous browser. Most people, unless this is a brand new installation of Windows probably already have data somewhere else. So I'm going to click import data and I'm going to import it from Chrome from my primary profile, which will include all of my bookmarks and all that good stuff that I like, along with my saved passwords and any extensions that I'm already using as a part of Chrome. Since all of the different web browsers use the same technology to write their plugins and extensions, they all are somewhat compatible with one another. Although Google is trying to phase out the old versions of a lot of them for a new manifest V3, which is killing ad blockers. So that's why a lot of people are, you know, switching. So now it wants us to set up a template. We can uh, do basic, which enables basic features and settings for simple experience. The default uh, experience, which is enables additional features and settings for better experience or advanced. Well, I'm an advanced user, so I'm gonna select that one. And then I'm gonna to go to next. And then what browser design do I want? The Lepton original design, the Lepton photon design. I don't know what this means. I guess if I click on these, it kind of shows me the different styles. So that's kind of cool. I can set mine up to look all different sorts of ways. I kind of like this way. It looks very clean or this one. Let's go with the original design and then let's start browsing the web. Okay, so yeah, we're good. That's how you install Florp. It's a relatively simple and straightforward process. There's not a lot of gratuitous steps. It's just click the button to install, tell it where you want to install it, if you want it to be advanced or not, and then go through the basic setup process, 
when you first run the browser, including importing your settings from your previous browser. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to install Florp and download it off of the web. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.